Hi, I'm Scott Eyestone. Thank you for your interest in our DVD. So, how in the world did a two-hour video get made on a zero production budget? Well, it started with a great idea by Bill Huber, gained a little momentum when my friend Mike Burns volunteered me to help, got a big boost when Tom Van Winkle agreed to become our executive producer, and literally got rolling when Scott Walker became our face man and Mark Eyestone signed on as our videographer. We were also fortunate to have Zafir Mobashar help us out with sound and Lisa Van Winkle as director's assistant when we needed them most. The price of admission to our crew was the understanding that all proceeds were to go to preservation and that many long hours of volunteer work lie ahead. We always knew that we were going to use a then and now theme for whatever we produced. As we gathered Civil War period photographs, however, we soon realized that a then and now photo tour would only be about 15 to 20 minutes long. In an early pre-production meeting with some friends, Stafford historian Al Connor suggested we add other segments. The group brainstormed what those might be, and soon we had battle overview, then and now photo tour, a piece by descendants remembering ancestors who fought here, a segment on battlefield preservation, and a tourism promotion. Early research consisted of Bill and me downloading Civil War photographs from the web, traveling all over the area to take now photographs, shooting reenactments with a funky little home digital video camera, and writing storyboards. Little did we know that there would eventually be over a dozen iterations to some of the storyboards. The best thing we did in those early days was to make prototypes with a cheapy video editor designed for home use. That helped a lot with storyboarding. We showed the prototypes to anybody who would listen. That's when the real phenomenon of our production began. Everybody we talked to loved the project idea, understood its potential contribution toward the upcoming sesquicentennial, and invariably asked, how can I help? Before long, we had support by the Fredericksburg Department of Tourism, the local National Park Service unit, reenactment units, and individuals throughout the community. With that support, however, came the realization that we had created a monster with high expectations for quality. But by that time, we were having so much fun working together that we boys saw it all as a great excuse to get new toys. We bought high definition video and still photograph camera gear. Our first real shoot with the whole crew and broadcast quality equipment was the DVD's introduction by Scott Walker. We asked Tom Van Winkle, Communications Director for the Central Virginia Battlefields Trust, to develop a concept and write something about preservation. That was like pulling the cork on a genie bottle. In no time, Tom turned in a draft script for the Preservation Challenges segment. It was perfect. The only hard part was getting him to agree to be the on-screen host. When we first met Tom, we didn't know that he was personal friends with everybody in the country who can spell Civil War. That and his energy make him the rarest of movie animals, an executive producer who actually produces. It was his rapport with the National Civil War Preservation Trust that led to the opportunity to interview Robert Duvall and to guest appearances by the Speaker of the House of Delegates, Bill Howe, and the Virginia State Senator Ed Houck were grateful for the hard work by those leaders and Governor Tim Kaine for all their hard work toward battlefield preservation. Despite some technical and noise challenges on locations, we managed to have fun any time we went out on shoots. The most fun day was with our friends in the 28th Massachusetts and the 47th Virginia reenactment units. They too volunteered to help out and the turnout was amazing. On a fine February day in 2009, we all gathered at Slaughter Pen Farm, did the necessary paperwork and briefings, and launched into a full day where we managed to do all the reenactor shots 
and two full shoots of Descendants for the then-remembered segment. The director, me, was unsure how long it would take to set up shots, describe the shots to the reenactors, rehearse the shots, and shoot the number of takes necessary to get it right. I soon found out that the 28th and the 47th were very used to working with each other and they were veterans of video acting. All I had to do was describe the shot to the captain and first sergeant, walk through a rehearsal, and shoot one or two takes. The guys not only worked hard, but had fun while doing it. We happened to get this shot on a lower resolution backup camera. Front. Talk like dogs. <laughs> Big dogs. <laughs> The captain of the 28th Massachusetts, Company B, is Steve Hain. Steve is a professional aerial photographer. He let us tag along on one of his flights over the Fredericksburg area and snag the aerial video we used in the DVD. Civil War Fredericksburg then and now would not have been as accurate, complete, or interesting without the terrific support of the local unit of the National Park Service. Superintendent Russ Smith encouraged the staff of the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park to collaborate with us, and they did so in a big way. Working with historian Frank O'Reilly on historical accuracy for the Battle Overview segment was like getting music lessons from Mozart. Chief Historian John Hennessy worked to provide us with some key battle action clips that would have been impossible with our non-existent production budget. Historian Eric Mink provided hard-to-find Civil War era photographs and valuable insight to their locations and topics. Of course, no DVD about Civil War Fredericksburg would be complete without an appearance by Matilda the Cannon and Matilda's boss, Stacy Humphreys, National Park Service historian and historical weapons supervisor. Help came to our project at unexpected times and places. Our shot on top of the Executive Plaza building is a good example. As we were shooting way up there on a cold January day, musician Dickie Boy Thompson approached us, gave us his latest CD, and told us we were free to use any cuts on it. It may not be the biggest, but we think it's the best. A little bit of heaven makes it stand out from the rest. The first cut, called Fredericksburg, is the song you're hearing now, and it was perfect for use under our funny outtake credits at the end of the DVD. Volunteers can make a master DVD disc on a zero budget, but a zero budget doesn't get thousands of copies of that master made and packaged. We're grateful to our reproduction sponsors, who were the good doctor Mike Stevens of the Central Virginia Battlefields Trust, Fred Howe of Utility Professional Services, Logan Creek Designs Handcrafted Furniture, and a grant from the Fredericksburg Regional Hospitality Council. But mostly, we thank you for your interest in preservation and in our DVD. We certainly hope you enjoy it. Fredericksburg!